I'm Melissa, and today I'm going to be showing you some obvious places to visit in London, as well as some lesser known and unique places. So first, London has some great markets. My favorite are the Greenwich, Camden, and Portobello markets. These markets are a great chance to meet locals, find quirky items, and eat some tasty street food. Shoreditch also has Box Park, which is an interesting mall made out of shipping containers. Sky Garden is an indoor garden on the 37th floor of a building. It has drinks and restaurants, and it also has amazing views of the city, including the Tower of London and the Thames River. It's free to enter, and you can either reserve tickets online or wait in line during selected times on their website. A classic attraction to see in London is the Buckingham Palace. It is where the Queen's official residence is, and she's not always there, but you'll know when she is when the royal flag is flying on top of the palace. Also, the changing of the guard happens daily around 11 a.m. and is free to the public. Another classic destination in London is Hyde Park. Hyde Park is a great way to meet locals as there's lots of sports, gardens, and events. There's also the Serpentine River, which has a swimming area open to the public. Exhibition Road is right next to Imperial College. It has some great street performers and lots of ethnic restaurants. It's also home to the Science Museum, Natural History Museum, and the Victoria and Albert Museum, which are all free. The Victoria and Albert Museum holds around 125 galleries of a variety of historic arts. If you need to get out of the city, you can take the tube to Mudshoot Park and Farm. It's open every day for free and is an active farm in London with a wide variety of animals. A unique activity for your night is Bolly Ballerson, which is a club with two giant ball pits, and you can purchase tickets fairly cheaply. Thank you so much for joining me on my tour around London, and I wish you the best of luck on your travels.